Where my hawks at? I said, where's my hawks at? It's time. We need to show them what we can do. We here. This is only the beginning. Where my hawks at? I said, where's my hawks at? Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You are now listening to Hawk Talk Podcast, covering sports, academics, and Harmon updates. So grab your cup of tea, sit back, and enjoy Hawk Talk Podcast. Uh, how y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? It's your host with the most, Mr. Hughes. And today we are here. We are here to talk with our one of our assistant principals, Mr. Williams Fernandez. How you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for inviting me to, to be on your program. Oh, we would love to have you on here. We need to cover academics and what's going on in the school as well, just as much as we need to do cheer and coaches, you know. So, um, so we'll just jump right into it. So. Tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, where you come from, and how you landed here at, at Harmon. Nice. Uh, actually, I'm from Dodd City, Dodd City, Kansas, southwest Kansas. I oh, okay. uh, was born and raised there, went to Dodd City High School, Dodd City Community College, St. Mary of the Plains College in Dodd City. Uh, I went to Fort Day State University, where I received my master's degree, and I returned to Dodd City as an assistant principal. Uh, in 1995, so it tells you how far back it, I, I go. Okay. Uh, and then I was associate principal at Dodd City High School. I was building principal at Dodd City Middle School. 2005, I moved to Lawrence, where I was building principal of South Middle School in Lawrence, Kansas. I was there for 10 years. I had retired from the Lawrence School District. I uh, wasn't done yet, so I decided to apply for a position here uh, in USD 500. And uh, they they uh, pointed me towards Harmon, and uh, that was in 2015. I was here for three years, 2015 to 2017, and then I retired again. And this time I was thought I thought I was done uh, doing the uh, principal work, but uh, the superintendent, uh, Dr. Stubblefield, uh, gave me a call, and wanted to know if I was interested in coming back to J.C. Harmon High School, where I'd been before. Mm said that there was an opening, and one of the principals became ill, so they had an opening to fill to, for the rest of the year. So I thought it was gonna be a one-year stint. Well, that was last year. This is the second year that I've been here at Harmon. I really oh, enjoy okay. being here, working with the, the, the students especially, the teachers. Uh, I just feel that uh, our teachers have a lot to, to offer our students, as long as students take that offer. Okay, so how long have you been in education? 30 years, about 30, 30, 30 years. years. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a while. It's been a long haul, but it's been enjoyable. I've seen a lot of fruits of my labor. Uh, I've seen kids go on and do great things with their lives. And, and then I've seen the reverse. I've seen some kids where they did not take advantage of the education that was provided for them. And those are the students the, that I uh, shake my head and scratch my head and say, what could I have done differently to make yes. a difference in that life of that student? who turned out and went the wrong way. And uh, it, it's kind of reminded me of some of my own friends when I graduated from high school where they were dropouts. And mm, mm. those friends of mine were either in prison or in jail. Some or, of them not and, here no more. And, and some yeah. of them aren't here no more. So it's very important that students at this age understand how important it is for them to get a, get a good education. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Education is definitely important. All right. So, uh, Let's go into the next question. Could you explain a little bit about your role and what you actually do here as far as J.C. Harmon? Sure. As an assistant principal, you're charged with many roles. Uh, I'm, right now I'm in charge of the 11th grade class, so I'm the junior principal. Okay. I'm also um, the uh, in charge of the Health and Human Service Academy, HHS. Uh, I also do teacher evaluations and also do classified evaluations. We're here early in the morning. We get here at 6.30 in the morning, and we usually don't leave till 5 o'clock. So we're putting in 10, 10 and a half hour days. But it's all worth it because we know what we're doing is trying to make our school better. And every day, we have to get better at what we do, and I feel the same way with what I'm doing. 
Okay. So about your role and how does it fit in with the academics of our students? Good. Uh, you know, academics is what we're really here for. You know, the first uh, the first part of the of the semester, we're working more with creating that safe school. Okay. Once we create a safe school, kids understand what our expectations are. Then we become instructional leaders. As an instructional leader, you'll see us in and out of classrooms. We'll also be in our curriculum meetings with our teachers mm. uh, that we call PLCs, professional learning communities. Uh, we meet with our teachers that way. We also have our academy meetings okay. where we discuss upcoming events, uh, new district initiatives, our own initiatives. So we're involved that way instructionally. Uh, I get the biggest uh, thrill out of being able to walk through classrooms mm. and watching our teachers at work and our students at work. Oh, okay, okay. So do you have a, a couple of students around the school that you be on their heels about their academics and making sure they straight? <laughs> I got a whole junior class. Uh, <laughs> you know, what, one of the things that we do also is that we look at uh, credits, where students are at credit-wise. Okay. Any students that fall below a certain amount of credits where they're not on track for graduation, we really target those students mm. because we want mm. them to understand that they have to get back on track so that they graduate. Mm, okay. And as far as those type of students, are you uh, someone that they can come speak with and actually learn where they're at as far as schooling and classes and credits and just in general? Right. And, and we have to. We, the only way you, you can make a difference in the school is establishing relationships with your students uh, yes. and also with your teachers. So you establish those relationships with your students, and they understand that your job here is to make sure that they're successful. Mm. Making sure that you guys are successful, either here or outside of here. I, I like that. I like that. So what type of impact are you looking to actually leave or make on the school you know, you can never rest on your laurels. In other words, if you have a legacy, uh, and people f have talked about me uh, in Dodd City, and people have talked about me in Lawrence, and people have talked about me here in, in uh, Kansas City, Kansas, the biggest thing is that you push for student achievement. You push for student success. Mm. So you never stop. You always keep on you always keep on pushing students, especially because you want them to know that through education, their lives will be fruitful. Mm. Understand, understand. So what do you think that is the greatest uh, greatest thing that you can tell our students as far as the success of academics? Well, I can say one thing. Success only comes after hard work. <laughs> and you said you had a master's? Yeah, uh, master's. Yes, you have a master's, and what is that in? In education administration. Education right. administration. I also have a superintendent's license from Iowa State. Oh, okay, okay. But so, I think I'll stay at the high school level. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, I understand. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, learning a little about what's going on next year. So what are we expecting to see next year as far right. as the principals, right. as far as the academics, sure. as far as the admin, right. the teachers, right. what we're trying to actually bring to the school for the students to excel or flourish a little bit more? I think one of the biggest pluses that this school has is, is uh, Principal Carter. She has great vision. She knows where, where we need to go, and we all know where we need to go with her. So establishing that, that core group of, of, of leadership at the top where this team that we have this year, next year will be even stronger. And when you get a, a strong team like we have, I, I mean, Mr. Williams, Mr. Franco, uh, Mr. Boyda, they're, they're awesome. So they work hard, and, and it's because we want this school to be successful. We want J.C. Harmon High School to be the number one high school in KCK. Hmm. That is a big goal. It's a big go. Yeah, so we've established a lot of things this year that we're going to carry on into next year that will be beneficial for our students. Okay. And that's actually good to hear, though, because this is another reason why I started the podcast. So we can start really showing the, uh, the light, shining the light on the students and admins and teachers of this great school that's that right. we are in right it now. It is a great school. Yeah, and... Me being from the Missouri side, I've actually never really knew anything about Harmon. But now being over here, it's like, 
we have a lot of great. We got it going on. We yeah, going on. <laughs> we need more. We need more light to to come and shine on us, so we can show them right. the the good teamwork right. that we do have in the school, as far as yes. us as teachers and right. admins and adults. So then, when they are out doing their thing, they be like, you know what? I got an example of that. I know what that looks like. I know what success looks like. I know what putting in that hard work looks like. So now I can use that blueprint to be successful in yes. their own lives. Yes, you are correct. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, on our wrap-up question, we I am going to throw you a third uh, throw you a curveball question. So the curveball question is: outside of education, outside of school. Do you have any interests or hobbies that you do? I do. I, I do have a garden. I, I take care of a garden. I've got my yard to take care of, so I've got those things to do in the summer. I have uh, 20 grandchildren, so the, oh. the grandchildren keep me busy. I have a <laughs> grandson that I've been instructing on, on how to play the game of baseball. Okay. Uh, okay. And this past Saturday, we went to Branson. He had his first home run. First so, home yes. run. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm very proud of him. He's 13 years old. but. Uh, I think family is important, uh, hanging with family uh, and those that you love, and you want to see them to be successful too. All my daughters and my son, they have all have college degrees. Mm. They have went the distance, and they have fruitful careers. And so that's what I do outside of school is helping them continue to be successful. How long have you been gardening? Oh, gosh, forever. Forever, <laughs> forever. It's, it's a, I, you know, I like to plant jalapenos and tomatoes and and cucumbers so uh, just a, a few plants like that keep me going yeah I, that's actually how i grew up as well like oh uh, cucumbers jalapenos cabbage <laughs> yeah, potatoes right. strawberries carrots we even grew uh tobacco yeah. one time so, oh wow like, yeah that's pretty my, my pops was just trying things yeah staying busy right. and next thing you know i'm back there in the garden with them so <laughs> yeah so that's what i do uh when, when it's not uh, school it's it's being with family being with family and and going to church <laughs> and going to church yeah. and those are two things that you hold dear to you. right i do that's good that's good family is very important is that something that you would like to you know kind of implement as well in the school as a family oriented type of absolutely absolutely once we become a family oriented uh school where everybody uh, takes care of everybody and everybody works for everybody, everybody serves everybody, then mm. uh, then that's when we see things happen here at Harmony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Where well, you guys heard it here first, we are here with Mr. Fernandez, and he is here in the building anytime you need him. And where, where can we find you at the most? I'm usually up here on third floor over by the elevator. Okay. That's where I'm usually parked. All right. All right. So, students, if you need him, he's up there, third floor, next to the elevator. And I would like to go ahead and thank our sponsor, Football Hawks Football Booster Club. And thank you for coming out and joining with us today. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, no Appreciate problem it. at all. all right. Y'all heard it here on Hawk Talk Podcast. See y'all next episode. Where my hawks at? I said, where's my hawks at? It's time. It's time. We need to show them what we can do. We here. This is only the beginning. Where my hawks at? I said, where's my hawks at? Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You are now listening to Hawk Talk Podcast. Covering sports, academics, and Harmon updates. So grab your cup of tea, sit back, and enjoy Hawk Talk Podcast.